Hi everyone, and welcome to an inbox review of this, the RPM BF109E1. Um, RPM, uh, a manufacturer you might not have heard so much about, and this isn't so much to look at this particular kit, but more at, at the RPM kits in general. Um, I tend to group manufacturers in my head. Airfix and Revel I have together as, you know, sort of relatively cheap and decent quality. Some of them are really good, some of them aren't so good. Um, and then there's the likes of the newer Edward stuff and, and Tammy are up at the other end of the scale. Down at the bottom end of the scale you've got, um, and I'm going to hear a collective sigh or groan here, A model and people like that. I love A model. Um, they don't fit very well generally. And they're not great models, the detail isn't great, but they supply subjects that the mainstream manufacturers don't generally touch so much. And for me, RPM seem to be similar. Now here's a contradiction. Yes, they do the rarer kits, he says, reviewing a BF109. But um, a quick look online at a, a well-known online retailer. They've got, what, 70 results for RPM kits, mostly, admittedly, uh, armour in 172nd or 135th. But if we scroll down, we've got here four aircraft. They do a lot more than these four, but look, PWS, I think they're a Polish aircraft. You know, into war, early war, so the rarer stuff, and that's the sort of stuff I'm interested in. And for £5.25, that's not bad. Um, another well-known online retailer here, 33 results, and you've got, look, a... Uh, a 135th Marda for 25 or £30 RRP. Scrolling down, we have, well, a 172nd Tanks for under a tenner. Um, and they're the rarest stuff, their First World War or their interwar things. Things you don't see that often from Airfix or Revel. So that's one reason why I've been attracted to these RPM kits. So here I have, as I said, the, the BF109 E1. I chose it because it's an E1, an earlier version, a different canopy, not the usual. Um, I do have one of their armour kits, and I'll probably do a review of that soon as well, just so we can get a feel of what RPM quality is like. Box itself, here we are. It's um, box art, but I'm not that fussed about box art generally. It's repeated on the side. Um, here we have instructions in English, German, and Polish. And on the back, we have a representation of the sort of thing they do. A small Polish tankette, another small Polish tankette, and once again these are PWS there in Luftwaffe service and there, I don't know what service that's in, okay, maybe civilian. But that's the, see these are, are rarer subjects, which I quite like. Some people like the mainstream things, but I like the rarer stuff. So it's a side opening box, but for me, that's not an issue. I don't actually care. I don't care much about box art or side opening boxes. Some people do, and that's that's their thing. But there we go, it's side opening box. It's an inbox review, so what do you get actually in the box? Well, you get a single um, plastic package with two sprues. Um, and there. Actually, sorry, three sprues. And a... You see it? A clear part there, that's not on a sprue or separately bagged. What I'll probably do is split the kit up into its and uh, put it in separate bags. And the decal sheet with nicely, actually, something I like, all the stencils. We'll look at this in more detail later. And the instructions, which, because I think they're a Polish company, are all in Polish. So the kit itself, starting first, um, it's got recessed panel lines, which is nice. They're a bit deep and a bit wide, but you know they're not they're not raised. Um, the detail is not the best in the world, and there is quite a bit of flash, but that's that's not so much of a problem for me. I'm not that worried. Um, I don't like the look, however, of this here. Looks like the um, the ejector pin has been eject it's been ejected too hard, um, and maybe stress the kit a little, a little bit. Have a look at that. Small things, I don't know if they're um, balancers or something like that. That to me, that looks like a hook. So I don't know, maybe they use the same kit for um, creating a T, a, um, the proposed carrier version of the 109. Internal details now, that's important to me. Um, there is some, but it's, it's a mess really. It's just not really thought out that well. So 
I may well have to add some more in there, but getting a detail set or scratching some detail shouldn't be that much of a problem. So that's sprue one. Um, sprue two has just the wings. Um, so the lower part of the wing is all in, in one. See the holes for the, uh, the wheels and the radiators there. And above where the wheels go, the wheel wells, there is actually two little lines there, which you see in a BF109. Um, the detail on the top, that's actually not that bad. Once again, the panel lines are a bit deep and a bit wide, but at least they are there. A bit more subtle on the bottom. And to be honest, for a cheap kit, I'm, I'm quite impressed. That's quite nice. You've got the, the fabric showing there of the uh, control surfaces. That's sprue two. Sprue three has all the small parts. Um, you've got the cowling, engine cowling, and the horizontal stabilizers and, and elevators, uh, propeller blades, actually nicely detailed wheels with some tread in them. A selection of, of two spinners, various parts. Uh, ah, they're the wing balancers, I think, so I don't know what the other parts are. Uh, gear, gear doors, uh, radiators. That is the cockpit floor, so not much detail there and turn it over and there's the seat, there's not really that much detail in there either. But you can add a little bit to that, a few more pieces there. Um, onto the clear part, it's not bagged, it's not on a sprue, but to be honest actually, the clear parts go, it's not too bad, I don't like that bit at the front there. See that? Um, it's quite thick, but it's not it's not too bad. I will probably be brave and cut this and open it up because I like open cockpits. Now here is the decal sheet. It all appears they appear quite quite thin actually. They're a bit glossy, They're nice and thin. You can see this carrier film. It might shouldn't be too much of a problem. You've got, I believe, four. Um, four options to make here. You get the swash stickers, should you want to put them on, or I will. And you can see that these are all um, September 1939, which is why I bought the kit. I wanted a Polish uh, campaign one. And they're stencils, which I really like. I like the fact that it's got stencils. That's great for me. So it's, you get four options, and it's quite a nice um, set of decals there. And they are relatively thin, if, if a bit glossy instructions I cannot read them because I don't speak I believe Polish you've got however the instructions here for decals one two options three four oh actually there are five five options um, sorry not four uh, sprue map and call a call out guide and steps pretty simple steps they're not difficult to follow and it, it's all done in you go five steps on the front and it's just about built there. Turn over onto the back and handily a stencil guide. So that is a review of the RPM BF109 E1. More really just to um, review what, what sort of kits RPM build make. I will hopefully do a review of the 172nd Polish tankette I have from them. So thanks for watching and until next time keep modelling and have fun. Bye.